Hello. I'm so glad you could join me today in my kitchen. I'm going to be using my pressure cooker. I'm going to do something that I haven't done before. I'm going to make ham and beans. I've used it before for other things, so we're going to try this. What I started with was about a pound of beans. I put four te teaspoons of oil in here just to keep the the foam and the froth down so it doesn't we don't have a problem with that so that's how we start out I put that in there to that I'm going to add <coughs> ham hocks one cup of these ham hocks we'll put that in then I'm going to add two cloves of minced garlic I buy this already minced in the grocery store I mean, you can do what you want if you, you, you know, you want to use regular, um, you want to mash it up yourself, that's fine. I also have a large onion, and I diced it pretty good, chopped it up pretty good. So we're going to dump that into the, into the pool, as they say. Then to that, I'm going to add one medium carrot, also diced up. We'll put that in the mix. Stir that up a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to add chicken stock. Uh, probably about four cups, but I'm just going to put it in until it covers. Okay, now add one bay leaf. Okay, we're going to pop this on. I have a little bean button right here. 35 minutes. So now we're going to see what happens. And we're going to hope for the best. So. Hang around, we'll get back and let you know what happened. So as you can see, it is done. Um, it was cooking for 35 minutes. I probably didn't mention that before, but it doesn't matter because it was automatic. But it's all finished, and now I'm going to release the steam. I'm going to add the last three ingredients. This especially you want to add at the end because salt will cause the beans not to cook real well. So you don't want to put that in until they're already done cooking. So let's release and see what we have here. Oh! There it goes. Okay, so let's release it. Oh ho, look at that. Oh, look at that. Just beautiful. The onions are all cooked, as you can see. They're all nice and soft. The carrots, everything is well incorporated and cooked up. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the last three ingredients. This is a, about a pound, maybe a little more. This is smoked, by the way, chopped ham. I got a, a piece of ham at the store, brought it home, and I chopped it up in little cubes because I couldn't find it already chopped, smoked, the smoked ham. They had ham that was chopped up, but not smoked. And I wanted to get the smoke flavor. About a teaspoon or so of Italian seasoning. some flavors there and this is to, to, to taste salt to taste and pepper
I like a lot of pepper. Okay. Mix all this in. The goal here is to put the lid back on it and let it sit for about 30 minutes and that way all these ingredients will have a chance to all also incorporate into the dish. So we're going to put the lid back on and we're going to let it sit. We're going to let it sit now for about 30 minutes and then we'll come back and we'll take a look at it. So stay with us. Mmm, doesn't that look good? Don't forget to go in and get the recipe for the cornbread. Okay, ham and beans recipe. I hope you like watching me put this together. You will enjoy trying it. Please do. If you want the full recipe for this, just go down in the description. PartTimeRV.com See you next time. Bye-bye. Today we're going to use a crock pot. Okay, cut. Cut. <laughs> la 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 la. <laughs>